Well, this is as far as we're going. Then it's far enough. I know how long the episode is going to be. We're already at 42 minutes, about 43 minutes. And, and, yeah, I don't know how long the episode is going to be. I'll make it, try to make it like around the hours. And see if I, see what that does. I don't know. Look! Hey there. You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. Fuck! How does he always get saved? Every time he manages to get saved. What a pad it's not even a padlock. That's a, literally like a high school locker lock. Like and we can't just let people that? die either. When I say that door stays shut no Who's matter that? what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? They would have died out there. Then we let them. But not dangerous. Just regular folks. What's dangerous is a bunch of people running outside and drawing their attention to us. Lee's right. We're just regular folks, but we actually like helping people. You'll have to excuse her. The hell he or anyone will. This is about survival. Do you guys not see what's happening? What is it? I... I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. I bet you would. <laughs> Just go. You're a dumb, Can't careless say that. kid. I would too. In a minute, Clem. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I don't give a flying fuck. We're in a war zone. She's not wrong. They took a risk. Yes, we did. And we appreciate it. Now let's settle down. Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. Yeah, y'all need... Yeah, oh my god. Y'all need to stop arguing. I'm not gonna say nothing. We have to end this now. Over my dead body, we'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no fight. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! We, what do we do about this guy? We? Dad, it's just a boy. It, it's... Lily, I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad. You need to calm down. We'll get this. I'm shutting up. Here. Not my problem. With or without you, I'm protecting my kid with my life. Everyone, chill the fuck out. Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will <laughs> find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten. That's how you turn. He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting he got him. hella blood on him, though. I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. Dad, we get it. It's a big deal. Do you? You're not fucking acting like it. What if this was your daughter? Never would have happened. She's not some snot-nosed toddler, okay? She's United States Air Force. Oh, fuck you and Doug her. Doug is a snot-nosed toddler. I'm gonna kill him, Cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. He's behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy. How do you know I'm that? Just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll turn fast. And then. There'll be three. And that boy is the ball game. Once again, I'm not saying nothing. Which pretty much seals the deal for me. We're throwing him out. You're right, man. I don't know. I don't know. Boy's a time bomb. Then it's settled. Lee? This is my boy, Lee. My boy! 
We can't. I'm sorry, Kitty. He's right. He's saying Lee, this Lee, like we fine. boys. Nigga, I don't no, he's know not. you. Look, look, he's clean. Not a scratch. Not a goddamn scratch. What do you think about that? It's Larry. And I'm fucking sorry. Good. Look, we're fish in a barrel here. With all the commotion, we could be under siege any minute. Then we better start fortifying this place. I'll work on getting that window barricaded. Good. I owe Kenny apology, not gonna lie. I'm fine. He's still a bitch, but I owe him apology. Are you serious? And you fall. Lee is such a fumbler, bro. I swear. Get up. Like, what do you want me to do? Who, who shot her? Ah! The chick I was eyeing. There's hell of people in this shop. Is that the military? I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and the Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, uh, Dad! Your heart, you fucking old fuck. Yeah, was he bitten? Was he the one bitten? No, don't be crazy. It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy. How does since we people got know everything? Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. There's probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. It doesn't matter. You snitch on yourself, Lee. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. And I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. Yeah, like, why are you doing this? You know your way around? Local? Born and raised. All right, cool, cool. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. What's his cool. name? Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. Dougie Fresh. Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Boss? Now get him those pills. Is Larry already checked out? <laughs> like, he looks like he's dead, bro. Let me talk to you real quick. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. What? What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. There are no batteries in this thing. What now? Do you know that there are no batteries in that thing? Yeah, of course. I, I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. What? I don't... I don't even know what the fuck she just meant by that. Yo, Dougie. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. 
Not now. I gotta look for the batteries. All right. Let me know if you want to. I don't have to look for the batteries, but I'm going to. Energy bar. How many you gave me? One. That's cool. At least it's something. The pills are in there. Let's talk to you. How's he doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. Did he clock out already? I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again and I'm powerless to do anything. And you should know, I didn't think he was in the right. You didn't say anything. And Duck could have been bitten. Sure. I guess. I guess? You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force Base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UGA. I'm not gonna I'm lie, gonna I don't care about anything else. Sounds good. Oh, and Lee? Yeah? It was a crazy situation, and you froze. Before, with that thing coming out of the bathroom? Uh, yeah. Just don't beat yourself up over it. We stick together, and we'll be okay. I would hope. Because that fumble that Lee did, come on, bro. You can't be doing stuff like that. More energy bars? Cool, that's two, right? We can't let anything happen to Ducky. Shut up. I don't give a fuck about Duck. Oh, I found a battery. She was to love me for this battery. I swear she is. No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead guards. Funny, Lee. Real calm. We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. Yo, why every time I walk past here, y'all be saying shit like I... No. I don't remember them very well. I'm not here to talk to you. I'm not fucking with you, Kenny. I ain't gonna lie to you. I paused this food I did, but... Nah, I'm not really fucking with you. gotta be a family or something because this sad ass music the way he's feeling about it oh yeah that is him wow find anything just a picture of whoever was here I know who you are what? You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. So you're kind of feeling me a little bit, huh? Did you tell anyone out there who you were or that you were tied to this place? Keep it real. She came respectful. She came respectful. Sticking the first names for a reason. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good, because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. 
How can I trust How you? can I trust you? You can't, I suppose. But you don't have many other options. I like that. Kind of into a little bit. I ain't gonna lie to you. And Clem hold, heard all that, didn't she? What's that? This was my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you and your hat. My dad gave it to me. See, dad's just smart like that. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. Mm. How are you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No, it's not. But I think it'll be okay. Okay. Here we go. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? Um, okay, you're gonna avoid the question. What do your parents do? My mom is a doctor, and my dad is an engineer. Those are good jobs. What's your job? I, uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Like, um, social studies? Yeah, like that. You didn't answer my question. All right, a little further. <sighs> Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? It's just complicated, that's all. Why? It just is. But you love them, right? Yeah, of course. That's how I be with family sometimes. Family's gone and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. You hey, keep her her. I got into some trouble and, and I didn't talk to him for a while. This used to be their store, but let's just keep that between you and me, okay? Okay, because of the trouble? Yeah, that's right. Now, uh, let's get this done. That's really how I view a family. Like, I might not be Ow! so close or whatever. Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. I'll find you a bandage. What was I saying? Something about family and being close. I mean, yeah, you, you might not be close to family, but you know, once you're gone, they're gone, it's gonna be a different feeling. Always is. Such, such, such things are, you know? Let's have a look at that finger. Ow. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Too much. You sure? Yeah. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. <laughs> Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? Are you sure? They'll, uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay?
Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. We're kind of over an hour of recording. I really don't know what to do. Like, should I stop? Should I call the episode? It's locked. We need to track down the keys if we're gonna help Larry. Alright, where do we need to go? Is there anywhere else we could go in here? Doesn't really look like it. Well, wasn't there a remote somewhere or something? My parents came in here hoping to survive. But it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. Or a protector, at least. Dad kept the remote for that thing in here someplace. Wasn't there a remote? There was something in that drawer, right? It's the remote to my dad's TV. Yeah, it was. That's what I figured. Nothing. That's kind of a piece of... No, 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 don't worry. Let's actually go out. Wanna head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I, uh... Why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? Damn. It's complicated. It's complicated. Sometimes things happen or you do things and you can't explain them. Let's uh, head back to the others. Let me talk to Kenny. Try to get some rest. Don't even come over here. Kenny? No, Cat. This son of a bitch would have let that man feed our son to the wolves. Stop that, Kenny. We were all frightened. Even I thought that maybe... Maybe we were going to lose our boy. I'm sorry, Katja. What if he... It's okay, Lee. From here on out, Lee, I need to know that you're on my side. No. It's not that simple. Never is. Fine, forget it then. Kenny, Lee's a good man. And we're all still strangers here. <sighs> I guess you're right, hon. Anyway, Lee, what was it? Fuck all that. What's the plan? What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? Keep it real with them. Keep it one thou wow. They uh, own this place. They're uh, gone. Oh, sweetie. Cat. They were good people. What do you mean, cat? Nigga, they dead. She ain't so yeah. sympathy. You go. Yo, Kenny, a bitch. I swear, I'm out of here. Lee. You got a second? Nah, I don't. Sure. I don't. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. I panicked, you know. I'm not proud Say of it. Say you was acting like a bitch. You let that boy die. I know, man. I know. What would it have taken? You free duck, you clear your head, and we get that tractor off his leg. That's what I keep thinking. I keep seeing his face. Because you killed him. Good. You should. We need to be able to count on one another. Fuck this weak ass family, bro. Hey there. This is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group. And a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn, we're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, alright? 
Awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Bro, how long is the episode going to be? I'm already in an hour. I don't know if I should stop right here. Um, save Clementine with candy. It's not much, but here you or go. Whatever type of bar Thank it you. is. Of course. Um, I can have a battery for her. This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. And of course, I'm gonna give you the can. What is that remote? I found this remote in the office, but I'm pretty sure the batteries won't fit. It needs the big stumpy ones. Oh. Yeah, these are no good. Give you a candy yeah. bar. Let me I'm treat you real quick. To eat. Oh, um, thanks. You're welcome. Are you sure your girl doesn't need it? She's good. I've been trying to keep her fed and watered. You're a good caretaker. I take thanks. care of you too. Um. I guess that's it. How we doing? I guess we go Good. outside now. Want to go have a look around outside? Yeah. Let's have a look around. Okay. Jesus. They out here for real, like they own this bitch. Damn. Don't be a bitch. You just eat. As far as I can tell, it's all I care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. Yeah, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. I can't reach that brick. You literally can, bro. That place is full of TVs and electronics. There's no batteries in this remote, is there? There's no batteries in it. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Word? I just hope the power's still on. You can just do that? Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. There was just no batteries well, in how you could get batteries like that. All well, that dark nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? Got a few of them to take notice. They don't like that channel. Enough. Hey man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. Oh my god, stop bitching, bro. You can't reach that brick. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Damn. Hey man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. Yo, stop bitching, bro. That guy over there has the keys. How do you know that? How can you be sure? A 
found this in the office. That boy in the ah, front okay. worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. I just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. The brick. I can't reach that brick. Of course you can't fucking reach it. Doc, you want to get this door open? About that. You've got the combo, right? No. Did anyone ever have it? Look, man, there were a lot of those things trying to get in here. And now we can't get back out onto the street. We're also party to some egregious fire code violations. Can I get the brick? Can't reach that brick. Oh my god, you can't reach shit, bro. A few seconds of searching it, we'll know if he has the keys. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did. Oh, they pissing me off right now. I'm gonna lie to you. It's giving me a little headache. And what happened? We need bolt cutters or something, bro. Do I have a candy bar? I don't even have no more candy bars. Actually, I do. Who do I want to? I'm going to give it to... I'm going to give it to Kenny. Well, Doc. It's not much, but here. For the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. Doc can't say a word since he left that farm. That boy is shook right now. I got another battery, good. Um, don't really get such a fun. Get rid of battery. I found this remote in the office. No, but I'm I said the battery, bro. Fit. It needs the big stumpy ones. Yeah, these are no good. And here's another one. Should be able to get it to work now. It's still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that thing. Go ahead. Hmm, nothing. So on the back. Is it gonna work now? There we go. As the unknown you fixed it. continues to spread unchecked, the estimated death toll continues to skyrocket. WABE urges you to stay indoors and avoid any contact with individuals you suspect may have been exposed. The station is okay. This sounds like today. Uh, my, my producer's telling me we have to get off the air. Steve. Uh, WABE wishes you and your loved one. God bless you all. Are you good? Hey, Carly. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor He's was eating about a little feet bit away from me, a lot of and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but you know. Yeah. That radio sign-off didn't sound too good. Are you okay? I'm fine. You don't have to be. It's traumatic. I'm sure some people got out. Maybe they're all being rescued. Maybe. Then again, maybe not. Mm. Alright, we probably got out. Hey right? there. 
You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. Just get out of here. Hopefully we find something. Zombie would not go in there. Guys, of course, it's man. this dude. Why What's his name again? Jesus, Glenn. Glenn. Uh, right then wasn't so hard. Can we get out of here before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go now. Listen, I was out here looking for gas, and then up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked, and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her, and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't, and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A, a couple almost got me, and I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her, with or without you. Think about it if it was oh you. Oh my god. I would have saved you, Carly. I ain't gonna lie to you. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. Bro, they're everywhere. Why we gotta save this bitch for? Okay, this is the plan. We don't know how hard it's gonna be to get her out of that room. Yeah, it's boarded up. So we have to kill every one of them in here. Quietly. Noise attracts these things. Now let's have a look That's around. A fact. Let's head this way. See what we got over there. We can hide by that pickup. I wonder if there's anything in the pickup. you break a glass pipe what are you gonna do with that i don't really know do you have any tricks for getting into cars not without tools or making a bunch of noise and none with pillows Ow. hey man that drew All some right. attention be careful i love this gun but it sure isn't quiet one sitting down is just as dangerous as the others. Get out your gun. But the noise. Just follow my lead. Stay right behind me. Nice. That was sick. I never knew a spark plug was a real thing. It's a spark plug. Spark plug. You should hold on to that. It could come in handy. We can get that guy by the wall over there, I bet. Bro, why can I move from here? Right, let's go back over there. Maybe we could use a spark plug for something? I don't know. Wait. Let 
me see the spark plug. Why? Porcelain inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper. Okay, that worked. Got a that screw. Will rain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. So now we're gonna do some stealth kills. Right, there's nothing else in there, so we can probably move over here. Uh, let's actually move over here. Try to catch him with a flank route. I probably could kill that one right there, right? Oh, I'm about to go all the way back. No, no let's see if we can do something. Right here. Let's try to body him. I'll wait for him to get closer. Got him. Get him again. Oh, you're such. A, why is everybody on with such a bitch, bro? Nice. Well, thanks for having my Except for the sure. bitches. Guy, Glenn, cool. so now funny. You should this. be a comedian when we get out of this bullshit. Grab the pickaxe. Not pickaxe. Axe. Where are we going? Oh, the stairs are this way. Why the music stop? You guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell. Okay, we'll be right behind you. I got a headache, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. Are you gonna take out both of them? Mustard, let me hit her. Yo! Nice one, clean off. Smooth off! Yo, fuck what this bitch is saying. Open up. Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Why is we're Lee something over this bitch? Miss, we're coming in. Just still lost. Stop, just stop. I'm coming out. You're hurt. Yo, I ain't gonna lie, Gwen. You kinda down I bad right now. Damn. This is what you wanted to say. Is you help? It's too late for that. Guys, she's been bitten. What? I told you, I said go away. I'm bit. But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. 
could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die, and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend? Glenn, this I don't nigga want that. Glenn, it's not bro. Please, just leave me. Please go. Let this be a lesson to anybody. Do not be a fucking Glenn. Oh, Lord. Bro, there is a million bitches out there. Maybe I shouldn't be saying bitch. There's a million females out there for anybody. Friends, relationships, whatever you're looking for, there's a female for you. Don't be a gun and just settle because she's a female. Fuck them. Okay, we'll leave. Just... Try to take care of yourself for whatever time you have left. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? No. Give it to me. I can just, you know, end this and then, and then there's nah, no Nah, do that on your own time. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please. I don't want to be one of them. <laughs> I don't mean to sound like what I said <laughs> on your own time. But I mean, no. You're not using our gun. This is our gun. We're not, we're not going to use our gun to take the easy way out. Do what you should. I was going to back to the game. They're, they're satanic. We can't let you do that to yourself. Then do it for me. We need to get going. Give it to me, please. This is crazy. Please. Is she a girl, Glenn? That's what you wanted? It's just two seconds, just one bullet, and I can be with my family, and it'll all be fine. Yes. Back up, please! Not a whole oh. shit, boy. Oh. Type of shit is this? Lee with his broken ass knees. Whoa, take it and easy. Now she got the gun. help. You can't. Miss, just relax now. You can't you be to serious. Think this through. We'll find you a doctor. It'll be okay. Let's all just. No, no! And she just did it. <laughs> I know Glenn is like heartbroken right now. Yeah. I already knew it. I was already knowing. Let's get out of here. Glenn a bitch. Why is all the niggas in here so bitch though? I don't get that. Shit! Here they come! Cause she won't let shots go. Get in! Is that Glenn's car? Everyone alright? Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine and well yeah. We're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. Glenn is not okay. <laughs> I know he said he was doing fine, but that man is not okay. Yeah, we gotta talk to you, bro. What, what was that? How you doing, man? You know. I don't, bro. Do you know the combination for the lock on the gate outside? Why? Oh, you know. I thought I'd go stretch my legs. You're probably better off breaking it if you have to. Back the motor in. How can it be that bad so fast? You know, when things are taken away, people do crazy shit. I guess. That's not me. I'm not giving up. Not for anything. Good, man. Good. I guess she really wanted that gun. Seems like. Why didn't you tell Carly to just give it to her? Are you dumb? Would you have given it to her? No way. Then, what the then fuck you know you? why. I'm, I'm done talking to you, bro, because, like, I hate when people yeah, do right. that. They be like, oh, why didn't you do this? Well, would you? No. Then why the fuck are you telling me to do that? 
Like, stop being such a dumbass. Do I still have the axe? That means I probably could reach the shit now. Right? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? <laughs> yes, now. I didn't right. mean that. How we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? You're damn right. Let's go. Let's have a look around. Okay. I can't reach that brick. Bro, you literally can. Oh my god, this one. Good shit. Awesome. And it didn't even alert anybody either. How to distract those things. Now you can reach. Even though you could reach before. Like, I literally could see it. I can't reach that brick. How can you? Grab the brick now. I hope you have a good arm. Good enough. Oh, so the glass was holding the sound in. Interesting. Interesting game mechanic. the time. Oh, we gotta get over there. Be careful. Keep an eye out, will you? Sit down and talk to bro. I don't know what happened to mom and dad, but I I'm just saying that's your brother in law, bro. Man, this ain't your brother anymore. Yeah. I'm gonna assume that's what happened. Did you find them yet? Give me a second. He's right. Hurry the fuck up. I'm not saying anything. I need them keys off you, little bro. Oh, you need another one, you said. Don't worry. Another one? You don't need another one, do you? Yes, you do. Another one. Alright, you gotta be done now. It was a smooth off, but it was there. God. There we go. Holy crap! Run! It's like when he said run, they turned around, which was kind of weird. Get in there, Lee. Close it. Man, that was close. But we did it. It's all that matters. Yup, yup. I've got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. Uh, the two ladies are failing me. I like it. Wait, can I look at it? Mm, it's not like the TV as well. Oh no. Are you serious? Gotta hurry. Why would the alarm go off if you had the key? It's not like you broke into it. You had the keys. That didn't even make any sense. Is that his mother? No, I can't be his mother, right? That'd be weird for it to be his mother. I mean, there has to be a reason they're showing her, so I'm guessing it's his mother. I 
I don't know. Doc, come on, baby, time to go. I'm gonna get the truck pulled up round back. Do it fast. I gotta get my dad out. All right, they got some drugs in there. But that, that is her dad is up. Barricade the living hell out of the door behind me. Glenn, when you hear me honking in the alley, start getting people out of here. You got it. Doug, Carly, and Lee, you guys make sure our defenses stay up till then. And Lee, I better take that axe in case I run into any of them on the way to my truck. Here you go. All right, that door's not locked anymore. Shit. You three, get on it. I'll get back as fast as I can. Stay away from the window. I hate when the bitch characters want a weapon. Like, what are you about to do with that? Well, I'm say, can I hold it? Lee, if we don't make it through this, you should know that I think you're a great guy. Thanks, Doug. Doug, if we don't hey, make it through fuck? this, you should know. I should know what? Huh? You said I should know. Yeah. Oh, shit. Are you sure? Shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> Can you look for something to stick in between the handles? Something real strong, okay? Okay. Dog. Did you find anything? Nothing. Oh, wait. The window is screwed. Go. You built like an offensive lineman. You should be holding it. I found something. Oh, the cane. Yeah, I know who I'm saving. I ain't gonna lie. I'm about to see you later, Doug. Yeah. No, get him off of me. That nigga Doug is gone. I ain't gonna lie, that was my like, you, you was a cool character, I ain't gonna lie to you, 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 you was real cool. Let's go! They got Doug. They, they... Nice one. Nice song. Was somebody talking about Doug just now? Like, I heard it in my ear. Yo, why is these dude characters so bitch in this game? I thought Kenny was about to finish me I'm off. I ain't gonna lie. Today, even if he is an asshole. That nigga's just so bitch. I hate all these male characters, man. Lee's the only real nigga we got. I'm about to say, I know you're not still blown over this bitch. Atlanta, stage nine catastrophe. Augusta, stage I think I need to go. To Atlanta? Yeah, I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances.
I ain't gonna lie, Louis, we gotta talk about your pops. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't like how he was acting. He was acting a little too tough for me. Find your friends. Be safe. Thanks, Lee. That means a lot. I don't mean to abandon you all, but this seems like an okay setup. And I'm sure things will be back to normal around here in no time. It's not, but get out. You guys be safe. We'll try. He's still thinking about the bitch, bro. Glenn, go ahead, go ahead, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. You want some nut shit. This is word of advice from yours truly here. Do not be a fucking Glenn, bro. It was clearly... Oh, I wasn't glad she had a boyfriend. But obviously he was interested in her, right? She told him to leave and like she no she want she want help so it was like bro that that situation happened mind you she had a boyfriend he found she had a boyfriend later on and she died it's all right it's sad yeah she died but like, she had a boyfriend you wanted a whole relationship man come on man don't 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 be like Glenn bro Glenn on some on some other that's that, that's so weird that's so strange don't do that bro. Hey, kid. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. You said you See, you only say that so I could take so care of you. I know yeah. niggas like Kenny, bro. Well, she's not your daughter, so you can't treat her like uh, she is. I have to say this one as <laughs> positive again. People like Kenny are always going to be on some shit like that. Oh, you got my back. I got yours. But the real thing is just like... I'm just doing this so you can get my... No, don't do that, bro. You should do things because you want to do it. Like, you actually care to do it. That's because you don't want someone to do something for you. Want some... Fuck Kenny, bro. He is. Yeah, I know that. But you can take care of her. Hell, maybe better than a father even could. Thanks, Kenny. I got your back, pal. Once again, he's only saying that so I can get his back. And Kenny, you're not a great father. I'm not going to lie to you. You're a selfish person. Where's Lily at? Car oh yeah, Carly. Let me holler at you real quick, Carly. Is it Carly? I think it is. How you doing, Yeah, it's Carly. I'm okay. You know, considering. I do, yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I know it's stupid. We just met. And he was such a... It's just that... I think that I liked him. You'll be alright. You'll be alright. In other yeah. words, nigga, I'm here. Definitely. <laughs> anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. Damn. I understand. That's how you feeling, Carly? Wait, Lee? What is it? How did you choose? We both needed you. You picked me. I was gonna help you both. That's good cap. But you helped me first. That's good yeah, cap, Lee. I did. I just wish we both could have made it, you know? Me too, Carly. Not gonna lie, that's some wonderful cap you just pulled off right there, bro. I was gonna help you both. The fuck I was. Oh, you, you got to see me eventually, Larry. I ain't gonna lie to you. was toast. But you know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then. Hey, Duck. Uh, you want to cool it? In other words, Duck, shut okay, the fuck sorry. up. I got business to handle. I'm sorry. There's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's I got grabbed again. I was there though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Hmm. Let me go deal with this. Oh yeah, you got oh, to man. see me, bro. Clementine. Another thing. 
I'm gonna go Doug right back to Doug trying to spit game. Like my daughter. Yeah, she's great. Well, stay the fuck away from her. Or what? Or, uh, everyone will know that you, Lee Everett, are a killer. And you were before it was something you had to do to stay alive. I know who you Damn. are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. Hey, Lee, do you have a second? <laughs> Stay away from your daughter. Yeah, we'll see about that, old man. My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. Tell him I that. Doug is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree. But how long is this episode going to be? Too. We what got vents, we fork? got water, and most importantly, we got light. There are worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. Okay, I think that's the end of the episode, right? Definitely is. Finally! I am fucking tired, bro. Can we get a preview for next episode? It would be fun if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. You don't know me anything, Connie. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy, I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. Don't repeat what happened with the walkers at Herschel's farm. You choose the kids this time. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. You fuck with us! Now we're gonna take hey, yo, what's going, going on? There's too many of them! This next episode about to heat up? Did you all thought Duck was bit? Well, I'm just doing the same thing. We know this guy's not gonna make it. This isn't happening. No more, please. No more, please. Please, please. <laughs> Yo, this is. <laughs> These series is kind of crazy, bro. Coming up on two hours of recording. Uh, we'll see how these videos get cut up. This is obviously going to be a two-part series. So we'll see. Uh, hot, lied to Herschel. Me and 46 other players lied to him. What did I lie to him about? I don't remember that. Duck or Sean? 47 players chose Sean. Yeah, because it's like, fuck Duck. Who cares about Kenny? Loyalty sided with Kenny. Um, no, it was just sided with Larry. I don't know. Kenny be acting like I said. Kenny's too bitch for me. Bro. I, don't, I don't know. Gave Irene a gun. But now I was like, why would you give her the gun? She's like, and she took the gun anyway. So I was like, it doesn't even matter what you did in that situation. We said Doug or Carly. Carly, cause Carly, you feel me? That's that's a little. You feel me? That's all I gotta say about that. Giggity, giggity. <laughs> Bro, I actually gotta wait for the credits to roll. Are you serious? I wanna hit my outro real quick. Shout out to the team that did this, though. I'm not saying them names, but shout out to y'all. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of additional shit y'all putting in here. Put my name on there, fuck. <laughs> Bro, y'all are just showing nonsense at this point. There's more people? And a special thanks. <laughs> Not that you was thanking these people already. A special thanks. Come on, man. Oh, it says, and you. They did mention me. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Fucking hilarious.
came out 2012, 2014. What the fuck was I doing 2012? I don't even remember. Okay, so yeah, that is going to do it for us in here. Episode 1. I like how this game is playing out. It's very interesting. Decisions are very changey, I guess the word is. It's very changey. So again, if you did enjoy, leave a like. Uh, subscribe for more. I'll be back here with episode 2. I was going to say episode 3, but no, it's episode 2. It's just cut into two parts. And yeah, that's going to be that. If you enjoy, subscribe, like the video. Watch more of my stuff. Peace. Bitches should be disgusting and they call me ready to fuck. Hey.